New at 11, a Clovis teenager is preparing to plead his case to Congress. 15-year-old Anthony Arroyo underwent a life-saving marrow transplant nine years ago. Now he's heading to Washington, D.C. to meet with lawmakers to try and keep federal funding in place for other patients. CBS 47's Tony Body joins us live from the studio to explain what's at stake. Well, Evie, the nonprofit group called Be The Match raises money for marrow and cord blood transplants. Now it stands to lose $3 million due to federal budget cuts, but one young man is determined to make sure that does not happen. This is 15-year-old Anthony Arroyo. I'm a lot better than I used to be. I don't feel sick anymore. I feel great. Anthony does not take anything in life for granted because when he was three years old, he was diagnosed with a rare form of anemia which attacked his immune system. <laughs> CBS 47 was there in 2004 when the community rallied to help find a matching bone marrow donor to give Anthony the transplant he desperately needed. The search ended when he was six and doctors in Los Angeles performed the life-saving surgery. How was Pakistan divided? Mm -hmm. Now, this Buchanan High School student looks to make history. On Thursday, Anthony, his mother Juanita, and a dozen other blood cancer survivors from around the country will converge on Capitol Hill. The reason why I was flying all the way over there instead of just writing like a little letter, so they know how serious we are, they know how dedicated we are, you know, that we really want to keep doing this. They'll urge lawmakers not to cut funding to the National Marrow Donor Program. Anthony has his speech ready. Imagine if you had a life-threatening disease and need a bone marrow transplant or a blood transfusion. How would you feel if, about that? For him to be an advocate for this and to actually come out and say, I want to do this, and uh, makes me a proud parent. The loss of federal financial support could be devastating. And this means that as many as 20,000 willing volunteers and 1,000 cord blood units may not be added to their national registry. Anthony can't stomach the thought, so the Karate Brown Belt is prepared to fight. It's saving lives, you know, saving everyday lives, everyday people. Now, Anthony continues to have anemia, but he does take medicine each day to keep it under control. His doctors are hopeful that one day he will be able to stop taking those pills. Live in the studio, Tony Body, CBS 47 on your side.